and the Dove. Once upon a time, a very thirsty ant was drinking water from the river. Suddenly, the ant lost his balance and fell into the river water. Help! 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 cried the ant, but no one could hear his cries. A dove, sitting on a tree nearby, saw that the ant was in trouble. She quickly plucked off a leaf from the tree and dropped it into the water. The ant climbed on the leaf. He thanked the dove for saving his life. After a few days, the dove was sitting on a tree. The ant saw a hunter aiming his arrow at the dove. The ant knew that his friend the dove was in danger. He quickly bit the hunter's leg. The hunter cried in pain. The hunter's arrow missed the dove. This time, the ant saved the dove. The dove thanked the ant for saving her life, and they became friends forever. Moral of the story? One good deed deserves another. The Thirsty Crow one hot day, a very thirsty crow was flying around looking for water. After flying for a long time, he spotted a pot of water. There was very little water in the pot. He tried to put his beak inside, but couldn't reach the water. He had an idea. He saw many pebbles on the ground. He picked up pebbles one by one and started dropping them in the pot. As more pebbles were dropped in, the water slowly rose towards the mouth of the pot. The crow drank the water and quenched his thirst. After drinking the water, he flew away happily to his home. Moral of the story? Where there is a will, there is a way. The Fox and the Stork One day, a fox invited the stork for lunch. The fox made some soup and served it in two shallow bowls. The stork had a long beak and wondered how to drink soup from the bowl. The fox quickly finished his soup. The stork couldn't drink his soup. The stork said to himself, I must teach this fox a lesson. After the meal, the stork told the fox, Thank you for inviting me. Why don't you come to my place for lunch tomorrow? I will make some delicious soup for you. The next day, the fox happily went to the stork's house. The stork prepared some delicious soup and served it in two long neck jars. Now, the fox wondered how to drink the soup from such a tall jar. The stork quickly finished his soup, but the fox's mouth could not reach the soup. The fox learned his lesson. Moral of the story? Tit for tat. Do to others what one would wish for oneself. <laughs>